Hey Bill. Okay, I just want to make a quick little video showing some stuff on parting off. Uh, as you can see here, I've got my quick change tool post because it provides a little bit more rigidity. Uh, I've got a cobalt, uh, probably uh, nitride, Thai nitride coated cobalt, I believe. Uh, I've got a little piece of aluminum chucked up in here. This is actually a, a part from my motorcycle, the peg that crashed. Um, and then you can see I've got some of my cutting bits. This is a cobalt one here. Uh, this is a, a little carbide tipped one from your pal over at A to Z. These are some German high-speed steel ones that were just ridiculously inexpensive, so I bought them. And then this, of course, is the back side cutting setup from TAG with a high-speed steel bit. Uh, this is a, a carbide. I believe this might be solid carbide, uh, or it's probably carbide tipped. Uh, that I bought on eBay, but I, as you can see, I had my my measurements wrong. Um, this probably is the size of the whole lathe. I think this goes with a South Bend 10, but um, I was going to grind it down, but it's it's too thick to use. So the thin little guys are a lot better for parting off. Um, anyway, so the the key with uh, parting is, on aluminum is to get the center height correct. Uh, at least in my experience, that makes a big difference. You can kind of see here. I'll get my camera in. Um, so I try to get it a little below, I guess you would say, a little below the center line. It's basically what I shoot for. And sometimes you have to adjust that a little bit. So uh, The other thing is rigidity, 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 man. Nothing worse than chatter when you're trying to part something off. So. Let me see if I can get my suction cup mounted here. See if I can kind of, you know, you were talking how it takes too long to part off. But if you get every, if you get the feed rate right on everything, and you've got everything set up, it should go pretty quick actually. So I can I can go through, you know, like a one inch piece of aluminum rod. If everything is set properly, I can go through it probably in about a minute, maybe even a little bit less. Um, let me see. Helps to lock down, and I'll just part right here, kind of into the middle of this piece. Uh, if you can, it helps to lock down your carriage. Uh, let me do that. And I haven't adjusted the, the gibbs on my cross slide or my carriage lately, so probably help to lock this down. Uh, all right, assuming, presuming I don't have too much chatter going on here, this should be fairly clean cut. And like I say, the, the main thing, now if I get the feed rate correct, I should be able to pull a real nice chip off of this. Let me see if, how I can do here. I may have to do some adjusting here, but you, I've got my feed. I've got my rate off a little bit here. Sometimes I, sometimes I can get a nice. There we go. Sometimes I can get a nice. Cur, there we go. To get a curl coming right off, just like a drill bit would do. And of course, you got to be careful about. I'm not using cutting fluid, so you got to be careful about overheating your tip. But that's what's oops, that's what's nice about cobalt too is you can be a little bit more rough with it than high speed steel. Okay, so that's pretty good right there. You can see the chip coming off is really clean. Got to keep that going all the way through here. There we 
go. So that's what you want right there. Those little curls coming off. And that's when you know you've got the geometry right and the oops and the feed rate right. Ah, I lost it there a little bit. Let me get some more cutting fluid going here. So that's pretty much as good as you're going to get right there. Anyways, that's what it should look like, and that's what it should sound like, and you should be able to peel off a continuous, um, a continuous little chip like that if you got everything going right, especially with aluminum, man. I mean, it should just be a joy to work with, you know? It's, uh, You see, almost, I almost don't even use, with cobalt and carbide tips, uh, I almost don't even use, you know, lubrication unless I lose kind of the, uh, sometimes you gum up the, the cutting bit a little bit, which is a drag, so. But you can see that chip, long chip coming off. And I'm just feeding by hand, I don't, you know, I don't even have a cross feed or anything, so. And I'm not even pushing it, I'm just going slow. So, there we go. That was a little rough because I was doing it one-handed and and all, but, um, yeah, I mean, that's, what is that? That's probably cutting in about half an inch, maybe five, maybe even five-eighths. That's hard to say. I don't have my calipers there, but, um, so that's kind of how it should, you know, that's how it should feel is you should be able to pull that nice uh, you should be able to pull that nice chip off so you can see there and um, like I say that was with mainly no cutting fluid because I'm just being lazy up here in the kitchen messing around on the lathe and uh, you should be and you should have this affair when you're done see like that you should be able to pull a chip right off the, the material no problem uh, if you're not getting that, then you got a problem somewhere. If, and if you're getting a lot of chatter, that means something is not rigid because um, that's, that's the key to using the cutoff, cutoff bit. Is it, you can be sloppy with a lot of these other bits, like you know this sort of stuff where you're just facing or taking off a little bit. Um, it's not as critical, but when you, when you get in there and you're parting off, um, you know, like one inch thick or half inch thick aluminum on a small lathe, then that's when uh, rigidity is really the, the main thing that matters. And you don't want to have, you can see, I don't have my tool extended any more than I need. And I'm using this, uh, this quick release setup that uh, is very, very rigid. Um, the tool post is solid. I think it's stainless. No, it's probably mild steel. I'm not sure, but the tool post is super, super sturdy, and um, my uh, my little bits here. I don't know why it's not coming off there, but probably got some chips in the way. Um, but uh, there we go. You can see my my tool holder is is aluminum, and it really holds that cutting bit in there. And you can see the, the tip there. And so that, that was cutting, I can feel it's raised a little burr, so I should probably hone that down. But, um, and, it's, and usually with aluminum, if, if you're not careful, it'll, it'll gum up a little bit. So, but uh, anyways, okay, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, like I say, that's kind of what you want to look for. If you're not getting that, then you, the problem is probably uh, rigidity somewhere in either the chuck, the work, uh, you know, somewhere in here or something, and uh, the chatter will will break the chip if, and it'll also slow you way down. But if everything's you know cool, then uh, basically it should cut 
it should part off just the way uh, you drill into aluminum. So, okay. Hope you've enjoyed the video, man. Good luck.